Hey, it's 2022 and we haven't played this yet. Chit me with your best chat. Natter away. Chit chat champion. I didn't tell Mike to have that ready. <laughs> I didn't. How I smooth, didn't even it? point to him. How smooth. How smooth he when hears, Jack's not here. He hears these things and that's the advantage of working across so many platforms of media. It's just multimedia. He's <laughs> in, he doesn't get thrown. He can hear audio, mm. but he also still knows how to navigate visual. Yeah. And, and that's he, sen- how- he senses online. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, Chit Chat Champions, if you out there think you're the best at small talk, we'll put you to the test and pit you against someone live on the show. Today, uh, Yasmin joins us. Ahoy to you. Ahoy, boys. How are you going? Very well. Very good. Uh, Yasmin, what line of work is it or is it more of a social situation that you're great at small talk? Um, no, I worked on reception at a psychology practice and there was a lot of small talk there. So people are usually pretty anxious when they mm. call up or come in. Absolutely. And well, if you're, going, if you're going in to see your psychologist, it is kind of the unspoken responsibility of the receptionist to keep the vibe up. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> yeah. you can't be having too many awkward moments yeah. with people um, yeah. for them to be going, oh, my God. What's like, your go-to question? Because you can't go, and well, what are you here for? Of course you can't yeah. that. So, so, so that's what, you know, yeah. what have you been up to or how have you been? Obviously, that's... What's yeah, you've got to go external, don't so you? So what's your go-to yeah. question? Oh, um, go to usually how's your day vein sort of thing. Just okay. keep it casual, make them feel comfortable. Yep, yep. It is. It, I mean, I had someone the other day give me the. I said, you know, how have things been? They're like, not great. You're like, okay, well, let's talk about that. But you're not ready. You're not <laughs> actually not. You're actually not often ready for a not great. It's really. Yeah. It adds a bit more to the conversation. Well, Yasmin, you are well equipped. Uh, equipped then. Uh, uh, Carlo is your nemesis for today. <laughs> in the next three minutes, Carlo, how are you? Hi, boys. Happy birthday, Andy, and congrats on the SP, Hamish. No Carlo, need. Carlo, he's come fully loaded. I <laughs> uh, appreciate that, Carlo. Obviously, um, scientifically correct of you to notice it, but I am trying to put it behind me. Uh, Carlo, talk us through it. Um, how come you're so good at chit-chat, do you think? Uh, well, for fellas, on a daily basis, I cut old people's grass, so uh, I've had many a yarn. So You're a lawnmower. It's not a, that wasn't a euphemism or analogy, was it? You just you go out and actually mow lawns. Oh, that's up up to you to decide, Andy, mate. Okay. Sounds like <laughs> sounds like Carlo <laughs> enjoys a bit of both. <laughs> but that's good, Carlo. All right. So, are you chatting to the owners of the lawns, or neighbours, or anyone that'll stand still long enough? Oh, uh, anybody that wants to come up and have a chat, mate. I'm ready. Gee, he really feels like he's away. Okay, yeah. Carlo, we'll put you on hold first. Yasmin, you'll be yep. up. Uh, uh, Carlo can't hear this. Are you ready to go? Yep, I'm ready. Great. Let's go. Oh, hey, Ham, did you hear that Tom Brady's coming out of retirement? Well, I know. He said he's got unfinished business. Oh, Tom Brady. Um, I haven't really heard about him too much. Um, what's he? I wonder what he's getting up to when he's getting out of retirement. <laughs> 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 well, coming back to play football. He's imagine. probably coming back to play in the NFL where you see probably the most uh, remarkable and memorable name to ever throw a grid on. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know who he is. Unlucky. Oh, very good one. I mean, they're good, a good scramble, mm. a good scramble for cover but a, a, and a good I wonder what he's getting up to. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the guy that sings up there, Kazali? Oh, no idea. Mike? Brady? Mike Brady. Sorry, yeah. I, was just, <laughs> I thought you may have travelled down that path for a second if you didn't know who Tom was. Uh, Yasmin, it wasn't great, but it doesn't <laughs> no. mean you're out of the contention because you things can freeze. Yeah, you because know, things um, can go horribly wrong in this yeah. segment for people. But uh, we'll put yeah. you. We'll put you on hold, and it's back to Carlo. Uh, Carlo, ahoy to you. Ahoy. You didn't okay, hear Carlo. that, did you? Not at all. Remember, you cannot reply with a question. That's yeah. the part of chit chat. It has to be adding the interesting next piece of conversation uh, and we will be judging it on just that. How much did it move the conversation on and was it interesting? Good luck, my friend. Got it. Got it. Oh, hey, do you hear Tom Brady's coming back? Yeah, he says he's got unfinished business. Boys, I am a massive Patriots fan. Send me to the, send me to the uh, Super Bowl any day of the week. <laughs> 
I, I love the confidence. I, I can't send you any day of the week. It's <laughs> only it. one day a year. I love, yeah, true. <laughs> love the confidence. <laughs> and a few a few interesting elements there from Carlos. Huge Patriots fan. That's not who Tom Brady plays <laughs> for <laughs> anymore, but that's okay. It's all right. But <laughs> then the then, double then send me to the Super Bowl. I do like treating the Send me to the, couldn't remember the name of the big game. <laughs> the two goes at the big name, followed by send me to the Super Bowl any day of the week. This is miraculous, but I think Yasmin's one. You reckon? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I love, Carl, I like treating the people you're in a conversation with as if, like I know we used to have a radio show, but as if they're a radio show. <laughs> like, you know, I want those tickets. <laughs> Send me to the Super Bowl. Look, it was, it, neither of you are elite. So yeah. that's something for you both to reflect on. You can both get a token of no value. I think, it's, boy, a, I it was, think, it's, I think it's two star. tokens of no value. It was, it was fantastic Cheers, today, boy. guys. Thanks Very so much good. for playing. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hey, we haven't played this for a while. It's one of our favourites. Let's <laughs> jump into it. Shit me with your best chat. Matter away. Shit chat champion. You know, Radio Mike or podcast, Multimedia Mike said to me yep. earlier today, he's like, is it natter away, is it? I was like, yeah, yeah, like nattering. He's like, I don't why are you checking the lyrics anyway? <laughs> you're not gonna it's been re- a year, Mike. You're not gonna re- two years. <laughs> request it at karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I might, well, if you want to know the lyrics, do request it at karaoke so you can see them on the screen. <laughs> um, and then I, maybe he didn't know the word natter. But anyway. Yeah, he uh, is much younger than us. Yes. And our, our, gen, gra- our grandparents gen were up for a natter. That's um, true. We're probably the last generation using it. <laughs> uh, Haim, this is a, the ultimate test to find out whether you are good at small talk. Hamish, mm-hmm. you and I will start a conversation. The job is, and it's under a uh, hypothetical a party scenario. <laughs> can you keep the ball in the air when the conversation uh, keeps and going? We don't say to you, "Okay, you'll go." No, you just have to vibe out when the best time to come in is mm-hmm. and what quality of conversation you'll bring. Your choice, you know, shot selection yep. is you, critical. You can't ask a timing. question either. You can't ask cannot a question. ask a it's question. About continuing the momentum of a story. Have uh, to add. Have to add. Bella joins us. Ahoy to you, Bella. Ahoy, boys. The number six. Uh, <laughs> Bella, <laughs> Bella, what in everyday life, how is your chit-chat and why is it so good? Um, I think my mother would say it was pretty much from being an only child. Um, but then yeah. I've also progressed into jobs where I've just done like McDonald's, funeral insurance sales, charity sales. And wow, so, so you went from McDonald's yeah. to, to – do you use any of your McDonald's <laughs> skills when you're trying to upsell a funeral? Yeah, yeah. I don't – it was kind of just a job in between, you know, mini degrees and they tend to hire quickly and oh. fire quickly. But, sure. yeah, definitely need a lot of chat to keep people on the phone about funerals yeah. <laughs> and keep it upbeat. <laughs> so, as as yeah. a – I am a customer of one of those companies, not the other. <laughs> um, it's certainly more exciting, you would think, to buy McDonald's – than buy funeral insurance. <laughs> you still have to work harder for funeral insurance, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, depending on the day. Hey, kids, guess what we're getting this weekend? What? Oh, is it funeral insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you're good, if you're good. Uh, Bella, thank you. I was a bit confused though with Bella, because say, as an only child, Surely you've got no one to chat to. Mm, it would make you less practiced. <laughs> oh, maybe. But, I mean, maybe there's also you're talking to teddies, you're talking, you're having, like, mm-hmm. tea parties, mm-hmm. talking to inanimate objects, <laughs> <laughs> keeping your skills up. Uh, Bella's uh, opponent is Joseph. Ahoy to you, Joseph. Ahoy, boys. Hey, Bertha. Hey, Mission. Congrats on the SV, Andy. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, switch up. <laughs> uh, Joseph, what do you do for a living? Um, I tutor. So I run a tutoring business with my girlfriend and... Obviously, that requires a fair bit of talking. Yeah, small talk. Yeah. Is what what age level do you tutor? High school, so year eleven and twelve predominantly, and most of the guys that they come in for tutoring need a bit of extra assistance. So I'm usually the one talking. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, Hamish used to tutor. Yeah. Do you want to take him on in some a quick <laughs> maths quiz? Is it? Do you tutor maths at all, Joseph? Look, I hung up the boots for maths long ago. I'm more <laughs> I'm more the economics and business tutor for a reason. Right, oh, Hamish failed that. economics. <laughs> Not very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll put you both on hold. We'll get Bella back. Um, Haim, we're going to set the scenario. Bella, you can hear us. Yeah. 
Good luck. Oh, G'day, Ando. Hey, babe. Hey, did you uh, hear they're going to make Limitless 2, the movie? No, nah, no, nah, I think that was just a rumour. Oh, was it? Oh, I don't know if I'd be down to see that, but I feel like anything that's a remake, you just never know if it's going to be as good as the first one. Okay, it's a sequel. <laughs> oh, the sequel. I see. Well, maybe it will be better, but I always like the first movie. Harry Potter number one, you can't beat it. <laughs> very good, very good, and rare, rare, rare for us to push back. <laughs> but yeah, you did say remake. Where... No, but it was. I mean, just went for the. I went for the extra pressure test, and I think that's with flying covers. <laughs> I didn't understand, and I just had to keep vibing it out. Vibing that it out. Is, um, that is the sport. I thought you did very, very well. Have you seen Limitless with Bradley Cooper? No, I've never seen that. But I know. Ne- oh, Bradley Cooper. Yes, I have. I just didn't know what it was. I was thinking of like Rush Hour or something. Yeah, some it wasn't one of his biggies. <laughs> okay. Nah, Bella. I'm gonna give. It's gonna be hard to beat. I reckon. Hard to beat. Good. Okay. Uh, Bella, put you. And, and we should point out too, Bella. While we've got you here, and before we go to Joe, um, we know this is a tough one today because it's for the first time ever we're essentially ending the convers. I end the conversation. Mm. I I end with an oh, okay. Yeah. There's not a lot of room to go there. You have to resuscitate the conversation to then keep it going. And I think you did a great job. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Joseph, Joseph's here. Ahoy, Joseph, you ready? Yes. Same scenario, same conversation. Good luck. Oh, good, Ando. Hey, man. Hey, did you hear they're going to make Limitless 2, the movie? Uh, no, I think that was just a rumour. Oh, I actually used to, I actually used to work at event cinemas. They um, we had so many people coming in for Limitless One. <laughs> oh great! So, you, <laughs> Thank see. You. Sorry. Do you want to shame that I'm making Limitless Two? <laughs> so enthusiastic. Really good, Joseph. Joseph. Joseph <laughs> I would say your conversation was perfect. <laughs> your entry <laughs> was kicked the door. I missed time at the, yeah. the beginning. You, just kicked, you, you smashed a hole in the wall while everyone was looking at the open door. <laughs> Like a SWAT team, yeah. unannounced, you came yeah, bursting in. You ex- blew the door off <laughs> when there was an open window next to it. <laughs> Just fun. Was really it because good. you've heard the segment before and you've realised that there is a pause sometimes which yes. knocks people off? Was you were you really wary of that heading into today's game? Yeah, I've I've been practicing over the past three, four days, and the past like four, five times you guys have played. There's usually a pause, so I kind of took that as my cue to jump in. Yeah, yeah, very. I mean, yeah. good thinking, good training, but um, you know, at, at an Olympic level, you cannot be halfway down the the straight on <laughs> as, on your marks goes. <laughs> it is a it win is a for Bella. She gets a token of no value. And but well, you were both <laughs> <laughs> and good chat, good yeah, chat. I mean, good it chat. was limitless. Very popular for you guys at the movies. I'm going to be honest. I have no clue what limitless is. Well, <laughs> covered well. Yeah, what, right. did you work at the movies? I did. No, no, no. I definitely did work in the movies. I was at event cinemas for four years. Oh, is that a Hoyts or a village? A uh, village. Right, right, of course. Hoyts uh, is still in dire financial straits. <laughs> <laughs> After Jack worked there. No, they're not. They're good. They're all uh, good. Joseph, just quickly, did you, did you steal as much as Jack did when you worked at uh, Village? There was there was there was certainly a lot of popcorn and chocolate top stolen every shift. Of course, okay. the colloquial, Any... the colloquial terms for hundreds and fifties. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Po- popcorn and chocolate tops, maybe a bag of Maltesers, but that's all that really went missing. Good to speak sure. to you, Joseph. <laughs> Tough to shove a chocolate top down your sock. <laughs> Haim, if you think you're good at small talk, we will put you to the test. It's time yep. for this. Chit me with your best chat, matter away. Chit chat champion. Chit chat champions, where you we put you uh, in basically Olympic level conditions when it comes mm-hmm. to small talk. Hey, and, they, and we we do put people in difficult small talk situations. That what that's what we aim for here. Mm-hmm. We're not asking you a question. We're not. It's about how can you get into a conversation that's already going? Can yep. you use your timing? Can you use your sense of appropriateness? Are you the can perfect you f- plus one at, yep. a, at, a, at a function? Can we bring yep. you along? Would you be able to hold your own out there? Um, you cannot ask a question. No. Cannot ask a question, although that is, that is a good use of um, 
That's a, a, of course allowed in polite society. You can ask questions. <laughs> you can ask but questions. It encourages actually. It shows interest in people. It does show interest, <laughs> and it's and it's. Not but we game. like nah. we like to put that condition because we just think it's an easy way out. Yes. And so it's like, can you actually bring an interesting fact mm-hmm. to that gets people thinking, yeah. uh, or an interesting addition that gets people thinking in so the conversation? In a tennis match, a question would be, ba- you know, batting the ball back. Yeah, just yeah. buying a bit of time. But but what we like is if we the, ball, the ball's been hit to you. <laughs> You catch it. You throw your racket and catch it and start juggling. (laughs) (laughs) That's what our conversation wants to be like. Well, I don't know if it's 100% that because (laughs) because that is a loss of the point. I know what you mean. We're looking for something impressive. (laughs) Grace joins us. Ahoy to you, Grace. Ahoy, guys. How are you going? Yeah, very well. Are you ready to to catch and juggle? (laughs) <laughs> I'm not normally very good at juggling, but I'll, I'll see how I go. Yeah, good, Jason. Again, uh, good. loving the gusto. <laughs> yeah, Grace, um, <laughs> what do you do, uh, Grace, um, uh, in, in life? Yeah, I'm a barista and a property manager. Oh, gee, oh, there. Here we go. They, they are two yeah. high gusto jobs. And <laughs> maximum small talk. Yeah, that lots, is... of, lots of small talk on the on the daily. Peak conditions for you. Well done, Grace, yeah. and preparation. Uh, Curly, ahoy to you. Hi, boys. How are we? Yeah, good. good Curly. Curly. I'm nervous for you, to be honest. Grace came in strong <laughs> and she yeah. lists two vocations that require a lot of small talk. What do you do, bud? I'm labour hire. I work in construction, doing a bit of traffic control at the moment. Mate, you fantastic. Don't, you, don't, you don't chat much in traffic control. Oh, you, you do on the radio? You, you get everyone going by. You've got to have a quick chat with every driver coming in. Plus, I worked a bit of time in zoos, so you've got to talk to everyone there. Okay, Curly. Animal traffic control. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, yes, 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 not you, you mate. You're you. a carnivore over there. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to put Curly on hold. He won't be able to hear Grace. Grace, are you ready? I'm ready, yep. Good luck. Oh, hey. Hey, mate. How are you going with that decision to start swimming this year? Yeah, not too bad. Got some new goggles. Oh, I hate swimming. I've never been a good swimmer, um, but goggles do help. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. Really true. We asked for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me feel better about my decision to buy them. <laughs> I can see the, the conversation on the road going, well, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a wasted that. purchase. I, I have been up all night on on Reddit forums uh, where some people argue for them, some argue against, and I didn't. I didn't have a. I didn't have a solid idea <laughs> from someone I know and trust. Like Grace, Grace, how, how do you feel? It's harder under conditions, isn't it? Yeah, it's so much harder. I wanted that. I wanted to do that fun fact about Cody Simpson. I thought that would be a good one, but couldn't think of his name. Yeah. Um, in the moment. So much going through your head. Yeah. Right. So that, that's why we put that pause down to because we did, we did have yeah. a, quite a big pause yeah. there yeah. while you were was sizing slow. up the ball. If Cody Simpson was to do that on the blocks, he would not <laughs> qualify for the Olympics. But then, on your mark, it's it, go. And okay. <laughs> here I go. Yeah. And then after, yeah. and then with all those things running through your head, you went right back to goggles can help. Goggles um, can help. <laughs> Grace, you're not out of it yet. Um, no. We'll put you on hold. We'll get Curly up. <laughs> Curly, ahoy to you back. Ahoy. Uh, Curly, you ready to go? Yeah, let's crack. Give it a crack. Exactly the same conditions as Grace had. Good luck, mate. Oh, hey, Ham. Oh, g'day, mate. How are you going with that decision to uh, start swimming this year? Yeah, not too bad. Got some new goggles. You got some new goggles? What type did I hope you didn't get the uh, old Swimmeroo 400. <laughs> There's a better one now. Did you go the full face mask? I hope so. And I asked the question. (laughs) 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 I love it, Kelly. (laughs) Kelly. (laughs) Kelly. An absolute bonfire of a flat mouth. God, it was good though. Curly, Curly. I, I think you enjoyed how badly it was going. Did you, Curly? Yeah, I, think so. I felt. I almost asked the question early on. And I was just like, yeah. that's about half and then on. <laughs> Loved it, Curly. It was amazing. Just in a tailspin, you you invented a goggle brand, the Swimmeroo Five (laughs) Thousand. Hope you didn't go those. No, I didn't. (laughs) Because they don't exist. In, in, I'm just trying to think if we were actually at a function and a guy has rocked up and (laughs) instead of putting his sausage roll in his mouth, he's turned to us and gone with that. (laughs) 
<laughs> line of conversation. <laughs> I'm not sure how thrilled we'd be, particularly on your dismount. Oh, I've asked a question I'm out. <laughs> um, wow. Just, no, so, Curly, it. the good news for you is that Grace was pretty bad as well. <laughs> there was, we had two, and like we said, we know we're making, we know that was a hard one today because it just, it deliberately, it, it, in, to use tennis terminology, mm. My return was an absolute drop shot. Like it just, <laughs> yeah, just it went just, for it. It yeah, just yeah. absolutely, mm. people go, no, that's not, oh, my God, it's over. Oh, that's so, <laughs> my God, the ball is so far away. I don't think I'm going to get that. Haim, who do you think? I think Grace has got it. I, I think, think Grace, Grace wins. I think, I think Grace Grace won, just... only because I, I think I think Gilly needs, the final part of his journey needs yeah. to be, yes, I didn't win, and <laughs> it was one of the all-time... All time over correct. I loved it. It's harder under uh, match conditions, guys. You both respect that. Uh, Grace, we're going to send you a token of no value. Um, Outstanding. Okay. <laughs> and live in our memories forever, Curly. Let's send one to Curly as well. Yeah, you get one too, Curly. I'll go back to my dope hole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye, you, mate. See you, <laughs> Hey, we haven't done this for a while, so let's bring it out. Chitney with your best chat. Chit Chat Champion. If you think you're the best at small talk, at keeping the ball in the air during a conversation, no matter what the situation uh, and what the group, we will test you right here. I reckon this is the number one topic, the number one like recurring segment we have on the show where people listening go, get us in. I yep. could, I could, if you need someone for Chit Chat Champion, it's the equivalent. You get that feeling from them of when someone's watching someone clumsily open up an email attachment or something and they're <laughs> yeah, like, like, please give me the mouse. Please, yeah. can I please do this? But the thing because, is... But it's not as easy as no. it, it's not as easy as it seems. Um, Josh uh, joins us. Ahoy to you, Josh. Ahoy, boys. What makes you think that you can be a Chit Chat champion? Uh, I'm pretty much always the person who has to sit in the front of a Uber or a taxi, so I must have, I must have it. <laughs> you must have yeah. it. Okay, yeah. You so can your friends, the friends know beforehand that that you're in the going to be in the front just because of your good talk. Like chat. Normally, it's just due to whoever got to the car last. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I think it's an anti-power move. I think that I'm power moving them by sitting in the front seat all the time. Okay, but right. definitely, yeah, definitely love a chat. Um, so there's no, never any like, hey, you, you know, you go in the front, mate. We're a bit nervous to talk. About. We'd love, <laughs> you know, we want we want the driver to have an enjoyable trip too. So if we put our best man in. <laughs> yeah, lots of that happening. Yeah, I can okay. imagine. Uh, thank you, Josh. Um, Jemima uh, is uh, your combatant today. Jemima, ahoy to you. Ahoy to you. Um, Jemima, what makes you think that you'd be the best at chit chat? Well, my boyfriend has actually signed me up for this, and he thinks that I would be good at it because I'm actually a speech pathologist Ooh. and my business is called Chit Chat. So he was like, perfect. <laughs> that, well, that makes Wouldn't sense. Wouldn't it be nice to add champion to the end of that? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Chit Chat champion speech, do, do, speech pathology. Does it ever come up in the speech pathology world, mm. like the art of Chit Chat? Because I suppose it's more sort of like, you know, um, helping people – with their mouth shape and with their with their issues around speech, but is chit chat like the end game, really? Yeah, I guess. And like lots of older kids, you know, might need to, some help making friends. So we think about topics that we can we can talk about easily. Oh, okay, okay, all right, great. Well, we've got two champions, it seems, Ham, but only yeah, one will prevail. Um, oh, you guys both know the rules. Uber. Front seat professional mm. and a speech pathologist. All right, uh, we'll put Jemima on hold. Josh, can you hear us? Yes. You know how it works. We'll start a conversation. You'll be the fellow at this imaginary party just kind of joining the group and you've got to pick up the conversation. You cannot ask a question. Yeah, must rely on your timing. Yeah, questions are banned. Okay, here we go. Hey, Ando, I'm uh, me and the guys I do trivia with are actually thinking of switching pubs. Yeah, you didn't really like the guy running and he was a bit into himself. Yeah, well, you don't like your host being a bit into himself because then they're making a trivia night all about themselves. <clears throat> You'd definitely rather than, like have a trivia host who really cares about the crowd, isn't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was good. <laughs> it was good. I mean, good. did I detect a nervous throat clear in the middle? <laughs> it was a pretty step. good, Josh. It you was did good. just repeat exactly what I see. Yeah, you did repackage <laughs> yeah. the notion and send it back to us. But you put us in a position where we couldn't disagree. Yeah, we couldn't disagree. Couldn't disagree. So it was a good 
I don't know what the Jack can be able to tell us the chess version of this. It was a great defensive (laughs) move without taking taking any pieces. In conservative play. I'm trying to think of a good trivia name, but I didn't want to get any rude ones coming up. Well, I mean Josh, the other thing you did though is you came across a little too needy for what you require of your pub <laughs> trivia person to say you really need someone that really cares for their customers. <laughs> I think just someone who asks the questions, I think, and can tally it up is probably enough. But I like it, good. Josh. Uh, as, well as done. Jess, as Jack said, that was conservative play. Mm, yep. Didn't take any pieces, didn't lose any. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jemima, are you there? Yes, yes, I am. You didn't hear that. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good luck. Ando, um, me and the guys I do pub trivia with, we're thinking of switching pubs. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't really like the guy running and he was a bit into himself. Oh, gosh, you wouldn't want that in a in a leader. you got to be able to kind of take the piss. Also, I hear beers can get really expensive at some of the pubs, so, you know, best to move away. <laughs> 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 Good tactic, funny tactic. Um, throwing uh, throwing an extra reason on board. <laughs> to be supportive. I thought Jemima. I mean, uh, bring back bring back Josh. Um, I mean, Jemima's lost. <laughs> yeah. Jemima, it felt like you were trying to find the reason uh, early on, um, yeah. but then you said, the, "Did you use the term leader?" I actually don't. I think, yeah, like the leader of the pub trivia, the talker. Yeah, yeah the talker. Yeah, I think so. You, you, don't, you, you don't want a leader that's too. Yeah, you don't want a leader that's too into themselves. Mm. He's not our leader. <laughs> He's not our leader. <laughs> He's certainly and not then our leader. When you were thinking of changing pubs to go to another pub to do it, and you said pubs can get expensive with drinks. We were going to have that same problem with the new pub we went to. Well, not if you do some research. That's true. That's true, Jemima. That's true. So uh, I think it's a win to Josh. Congratulations to you, Josh. Well done, Josh. Conservative player has won the day. Uh, Thank you very much. But both very good uh, competitors. We'll send a a token of no value to you both. Well done, guys. (laughs) Some good stumbles, some good defence. Ando. Mm Mm-hmm. It is time for a bit of Chit Chat Champion. Oh, yes. However, today I bring to the group a, uh, a young man that nominated himself for Chit Chat Champion. Right. Um, but Email. in an unorthodox way. Okay. It was a live audition at the pub. Well, I was actually, <laughs> I was having a drink. I was having a drink the other night. Guy comes up, you know, can I get a bow? Very, very deep bow. Mm-hmm. Um, almost put my, put my pint on the floor. could almost drink it from the floor with <laughs> yep. straight legs. Uh, and then he says, listen. You've got, bru- every- you got bruised ribs at the moment. Is that affecting your bowel? I uh, you just grit through it. Yep. Um, you know, you've got to give the people what they want. Yep. There's absolutely no price you wouldn't pay mm-hmm. to, to deliver the bow. I, the then goes, look, you've got to get me on Chit Chat Champion. And he had, he'd, fair to say he'd had a couple, this mm. young man. Name was Isaac. <laughs> it made a lot of people think that. He goes, no, no, I know that. I know. I know a lot of people think that. But I'm, 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 I've, I've absolutely got what it takes. So I go, okay, give us a live audition, right? And I recorded it. In voice memos. Okay, so what we're about to hear is, uh, this is Isaac, yep. and he's pitched to be on Chit Chat Champion. Have a listen. All right, Isaac, what do you want? I want to be the Chit Chat Champion. Why? Because I'm a networker from way back. Yeah. Um, do you think you can do it? I know I can do it. I know I can do it, Hamish. I'm telling you right now. How many apps of the podcast have you listened to? 176. All right. So you're on. You've got it. I'm well looped. I'm do, you reckon, do you reckon you'd be better than anyone we've ever had on? <laughs> easily. Easily. I'm chit-chat championed out. I know I can. I can do it. I can do it. All right. Well, fingers crossed, man. I'm ready to go, mate. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Gee, I mean, he High obviously energy. had a few beers. Good gusto, though. I, was, I mean, he right? could I mean, not. And then, like, he had the gusto it. shield on the phone, so we would have broken the phone. <laughs> yes. I then go to him, I go, okay, um, you know, love the enthusiasm. I say, give us your details, right? Hand him my phone, mm. open up notes. I go, give us your details. He just writes down Isaac in the notes <laughs> and hands it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll need more, Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Um, appreciate that. No, was aware of your name. Uh, need your phone number. He goes, oh, yeah, 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 cool. 
Um, it just felt like notes was the right thing to do. And I probably should have given him my the actual phone app. But anyway, he mm. writes his number down. I look at it today as I go to as we go do this. He's written too many numbers. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there, there any doubles surprise? in there? There's two doubles. Great question. Okay. Two doubles. There's a double four in there, and it ends with a double five. I think the first few digits are 0447. That's one. definitely. That's definitely. Oh, 0447. I think he means. Oh, I think he means 0471. Don't you reckon? Rather than 04471. I reckon 0447. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard an. All right. Well, then it ends in it. Then it ends in a double five. So we either cut one of the fours. <laughs> yep. I reckon start either. at the back because it's more likely that you just put an extra one on the end. Yeah, let's cut the one of the fives off the back, I reckon, eh? Okay. Okay, okay Jack, you got the number there? So if you cut the five off, yeah. this should be Isaac. Okay. The number you have dialed is not in right. service. Okay, cut the four out, Jack. Right. Cut the four out. I think so it's an 0471. Putting the five back, <laughs> four is gone. Hello. Uh, hello, is that Isaac? Hello. Isaac, it's Hamish and Andy here. How are you, mate? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really good. Um, guys, two seconds. I'm just in the middle of a softball game with you seven. Yeah, Eliza, you'll take it off the tee there, mate. So you just do it. Is Isaac, is now a bad time? Um, oh, I can chit-chat just quickly, but um, I'm going to have to get going in a second. No, well, what, when, when's good for you? When's lunchtime? When, when, can we, when can we call you back? Uh, in 40 minutes. So 22, um, so 10, so can we call you back at just like five to one? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. That'll All right. fly. Okay. Bye, Isaac. Perfect. Great. Thanks, Thanks mate. Yeah, good on you. Cheers. I just want to make this clear. I put my neck out for Isaac, <laughs> not because I believe he's the greatest chit chat champion, but because I admired the enthusiasm of yeah. the audition. I still... But thus far... I mean, what a power move. Well, he hasn't disappointed. You, we, I mean, we literally, we call him for Chit Chit Champion, mm. and he's gone so home in the middle of a softball match. To his credit, uh, he's like, I can do it quickly, <laughs> but I think he's in charge of a lot. He's of- absolutely their teacher. <laughs> it's, it's, there's no way he's not a, a sports teacher. So I think it's the right thing to do. Um, all right. Um, let's meet back. Let's go have lunch. Let's meet back here in 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Chat, away. Chit chat champion. Hello, Isaac speaking. Isaac, Isaac Hamish and Andy, how are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Thanks, fellas. How are you? Yeah, yeah really I'm good. Um, we didn't want you to be too obviously mm-hmm. razzled because you did. We just heard. I just heard the uh, the audition you did for Hamish in the pub. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, Hates. yeah. It, admittedly, um, I'd, I'd, it's actually funny. I'd like to apologise, Hamish, because um, the pure excitement got to me, and and I just um, I was talking to my girlfriend, and she goes, "That's Hamish Blay," and mm. it, I don't like before she could tell me not to. I'd, I'd already pinched you on the bum, and I was, mm. and then mm. you like turned around and looked, and I just went, "I'm really sorry," like I don't know where that came from, and yeah. um, it was just the 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 arena got to me, and I don't want it to get to me now. Yeah, I well, mean that's what we talked about, didn't we? The, feels it feels like is. it is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rattled. You are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you've tried right. to undo. Too much time you, to think about it. You, you've you've tried to undo an initial rattling with a further rattling. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. I thought it was going to be a peter out. I definitely thought it was going to peter out after. No, no. That. Sometimes no, no. that's the thing about this show. We can surprise you with ones that you think <laughs> might peter out, but they don't. We, you yeah, can't sure. confuse us with constant Peter outs, mm. just frequent Peter outs. <laughs> yes, this one's a Peter in. Um, <laughs> okay. And you're in the show. Isaac, you'll be up against Caston, <laughs> who nominated, uh, it, was, it was Benjamin, I think, who nominated uh, his dad, and mm. his dad's name is Caston. Uh, Caston, ahoy to you. Hello to you. Now, Caston, what makes you <laughs> an amazing <laughs> chit chat person? How do you keep the ball in the air when it comes to conversation? Well, for me, the trick is just focusing on what the other people are saying mm-hmm. and respond to precisely that. Very good advice. It's about listening, not talking. What kind of field are you in, Caston? I work in, I'm a psychologist. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, <yeah. laughs> We've got a professional. What a hitter. Yeah. What a big hitter. Because very, very rarely when you're talking to a psychologist or a therapist, do they go, sorry, I've don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> part, of, part of the job is knowing what to say. Yes. Um, the trick is then to just wait. 
Okay. Don't. Okay. Just, yeah. Well, we should let you know that, um, as, as was always the case with Chit Chat Champion, um, one of us will start the conversation, the other person will say something. We don't um, obviously signal when it is your job to pick it up. That's part of the test. You have yep. to use your intu- conversational intuition to mm. jump in at the right moment. Have you heard of Just before, yeah. Caston? I know you've been nominated by Benjamin. No, I haven't, but I, I did get I did check with Benjamin what it was all about. Yeah. Okay, right. So we, yeah. this is, this is going to be interesting. On one hand, you're a superpower, you know, you're a big player because you're a psychologist and this is what you do for a job. Mm. On the other hand, you're against Isaac, who has heard every single Chit Chat champion and that's why he rates himself. I think it's a fair fight. Yeah, Isaac, are you nervous knowing that you're coming up against the psychologist? No, nah, mate, I'm ready to go. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, Kasten, we're going to put you on hold. We're going to start with yeah. Isaac. You guys will both receive the exact same conversation. Um, Haim, are you ready to go? Right. Are we sure Kasten knows how to play? <laughs> 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 Let's just double check. Let's bring yeah. Kasten back. <laughs> Sorry, Kasten, Kasten, we just, just want to, to double be check. really clear, here's how it's going to work. Um, Annie will say something. I will then say another piece of the conversation. And at some point, there'll be a, yeah. a, a gap. You, that's when you pick up the conversation. Now, you can't ask a question. We should make that clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. y- you will be judged on your timing and the interest content of the mm-hmm. piece of conversation you provide. Okay. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Okay, we'll put Kasten back okay. on hold. I mean, it uh, is fun playing with someone that's never played before. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying okay, but I don't know mm. if I... We'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. Okay. Are you ready to go, Isaac? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be, mate. Okay. Big Good moment luck. for you, Isaac. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Ham, I hear Australian hey. Bird of the Year is up for our grabs again. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the superb fairy wren won it last year. Oh, I didn't think it would beat the black cockatoo again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, you were fine. You were fine. But we have to I accept the damage. I was so nervous. No, you were fine. <laughs> you were great. You were great, but unfortunately we do have to... <laughs> We have to take the dammits. We do have to take the dammits as part of the sample. So, oh, no. Because so, you've got to admit, uh, Isaac, that if you were in conversation with someone and they offered something and then immediately went, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it that damn would be, that it would is, be a problem. It does Yeah, that's where I fell on my sword. Yeah, yeah. You kind of had it. I mean, I, you know, Black Hockey 2 is a great addition to the... Oh, it was you great. know, you jump straight in as a bird fan, <laughs> but well, we'll see if the four dammits uh, <laughs> come into come into play as points off. I can't believe it. Oh no! Um, all right, uh, we'll put uh, Isaac on hold. Caston, are you there? I'm here. Caston, um, you'll hear a little bit of music, and then I'll start the conversation. And good luck to you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hey, hey, am I? I think the Australian Bird of the Year is up for grabs again. Yeah, well, the superb fairy wren won it last year. That's interesting because um, I heard it was Bob the Builder that won it last year. (laughs) 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 Caston, (laughs) Caston. Interesting. See, the game is now complete, Caston. You've played it. You've played it. You've played it. Now we move into the scoring phase. The, the, scoring. the scoring and analysis and comprehension Kasten, phase. Caston, how do you feel you went? Well, honestly, I didn't quite hear, hear what you guys said. Oh, sorry. All yeah. Yeah. So all I heard something, I thought I heard about builders. Oh, builder uh, of the year. Oh, yeah. That's no, I said, okay, that makes more sense. That is actually a good way. It was bird of the year. Bird of the year. Um, and, the and then I... Bird of the year. Okay. Yes. Well, I just thought that was the name of a building company. That I hadn't heard of. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So now, now that <laughs> and, and, <laughs> very rank and, constructions, and Daryl speaking. <laughs> and, and here's the thing: because I knew I couldn't ask a question, mm, I yeah. thought if I said, "Oh, can you say that again?" That's a question. That's true. Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, given that, and then this is just purely yeah. for this. We're back. We're just training now. This is not in match conditions, but. If yeah. I said, yeah, the superb fairy wren won it last year, what would you say to that? That's interesting. I'm a big fan of the pink flamingo. 
Mm, okay, that would have been good. That, that would have been, been good. Very um, good. <laughs> um, but Caston, unfortunately, <laughs> mainly due to the fact that you couldn't hear, him, maybe we mumbled it. But we have to give the win this week to Isaac. Isaac, Which congratulations, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, that's Isaac. That, yeah. That's oh, thank fair. You very that's much. Fair. Um, but Caston, <laughs> even though yours wasn't quite on topic, you didn't say "damn it, damn it, damn it," thinking that you'd mucked it up like Isaac did. Mm, but mm, wouldn't you agree, that- Ham? That that Isaac was slightly better conversation. Um, you'd rem- you would probably walk away from Isaac's conversation going, "That's you know, apart from the damnants, mm. yeah, that guy <laughs> had something to say about birds." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for playing, guys. Wow, we really appreciate two it. Very interesting <laughs> players. Thank you, guys. <laughs>